morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everybody. And a very warm welcome to our Tai Chi relaxation one hour online session here with Teacher Jing. We are very happy that there are so many of you here and we are welcoming you from very many places in the world. So why don't you just write in the chat quickly where you are from so we have an idea who is here and from where. Voulez-vous dire dans le chat d'où vous êtes? Can, Let's can you see. hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. So yes. I'm Klaus, Klaus Victor from Saudi Arabia. Wow. We have mm -hmm. Israel, Saudi Arabia, US, Canada, Israel again, California, Denmark, Philippines, Berlin, Germany, so many countries. France again, Bangkok. Wow. So that's very exciting. And I would like to introduce to you our team today, which is very international too. So we have Jill from USA and Batya from Israel and Tanya from Singapore as a supporting team, like in the background. Then we have Patrice from Burgundy, France as an assistant teacher. And me, I'm Katja from Berlin, Germany, as an assistant teacher too. And then, of course, our principal teacher, Jing, from China. Right now, Jing is in Shandong province, doing a workshop there. So let me introduce to you Li Jing first. She is the founder of Tai Chi Relaxation and the principal teacher. As many of you might know already, she's the daughter of Master Li Yunfang. But she's also a professional wushu athlete herself um, with a strong background there. Wushu is martial arts, Kampfkünste. Um, she's a member of the Beijing wushu team. She's a world champion of Tai Chi Chuan, Chen style, and a world champion of 42 Tai Chi sword. And she studied traditional Chinese medicine in Beijing with Liu Tianjun. So what are we going to do in these 16 minutes here today? After this brief introduction, teacher Li Jing will lead us for 25 minutes, teaching us two of eight movements of Tai Chi relaxation practice. She will do that in English, of course, and then Patrice will um, practice with us for 10 more minutes at leading in French, followed by me leading for 10 minutes in German. And then we will still have about 10 minutes for sharings and questions. So you can save your questions for those last 10 minutes, please. So what we are giving you an insight to today is called Tai Chi relaxation. And this is a very effective and easy to learn. You will see it's very easy to learn method for relaxing the body and calming the mind. It consists of eight movements and one meditation, and each of these movements is related to one acupuncture point based on traditional Chinese medicine. So Tai Chi relaxation practice cultivates a deep state of relaxation. It improves the circulation and it smooths the flow of Qi, and thus it increases vital energy. So we wish you a very joyful hour now, and here is our teacher, Li Jing. Thank you very much for joining me. I'm in China now, in Shandong province, giving a Tai Chi Songshen, Tai Chi Relaxation Seminar. Today is Saturday in China, and tomorrow we have another full day seminar. So actually in this room, I'm not alone. I'm with my some of my students stay overnight here. So we'll do a presentation together. This evening uh, in China, <laughs> I mean, this day is in the morning. So 
we will introduce two movement to our audience. The main function in Tai Chi relaxation is joy. How to enjoy life, to have a, a balanced lifestyle. So Tai Chi is yin and yang. In the practice, you can feel there is opening, there is merging, open, unite. Yang, yin, to the left is yang, to the right is yin, or vice versa, doesn't matter. So like our body, we have the front, we have the back. And Tai Chi relaxation has four pillars. One is Chinese wushu, martial art, Chinese martial art. Second is Chinese medicine, Zhong Yi Xie. Third is Chinese philo philosophy, especially the art of heart, the function of the heart. And number four is the psychology. In the practice, I will introduce this knowledge little by little. First of all, please follow me and my students to do to try the third movement in Tai Chi relaxation. Overall, we have nine movements. This is number three. Before I invite them to come join us, let me introduce the third movement, acupuncture point. It can, comes from Ren Meridian. This is the meridian takes care of the blood. And some of the movement is from the back, Du Meridian. Du Meridian takes care of energy, Qi. It's called the ocean of energy. The front meridian, Ren Mai, is called the ocean of blood. Now, either you sit down or stand up. First, find your navel. And then about four fingers above your navel. Again, find the middle line, Ren Mai, pointing there. So very similar to solar plexus, mm. solar plexus, touch there. Use the right hand, Lao Gong center, touch Zhong Wan, and the left hand over right. Zhong Wan has the function to stimulate stomach qi. So this movement is very beneficial for whomever have digestion problem or digestive system is weak. This one enhances the function of our spleen and the stomach. Okay, hold it like a solar plexus. In this point is called Zhongwa. I'm trying to do the joy so yo. Open your step. You cannot see my feet very well, but you can see them wider than your shoulder. Ready, slightly bend your knee. Look, toes pointing forward. Relax your body. Everybody try a little bit. Relax your body. Now, inhale. The elbow goes back a little bit. Exhale, elbows expand forward. Inhale. Exhale. You can also practice this movement by sitting on the chair. Hunking one, body expand. 
two body relax hold hold it wait for me you see the knees slightly bent like that just slightly and do not go up and down keep your head on the same level ready begin inhale Exhale, relax your abdomen. Feel the energy chi from Zhongwa point. Expand and come back to Zhongwa. So keep your hands together. Keep your hands together. 大家做动作让我解释，别跟着我做了，就地址你们继续在做这个。Feel your chi. I use my hand like chi expand everywhere, especially your stomach area, and come back to Zhongwa. Then chi from Zhongwa expand again. I use my hand to symbolize the expansion, the movement of chi. Inhale, open, yang. Exhale, unite, relax. In, in the movement, we have yang, we have yin, and it never stops. Inhale, exhale. Continue, follow them. Continue, follow them. So while you are doing this movement, relax your body. Send your awareness, your intention to Zhongwa point. Expand, feel qi from Zhongwa. Wow, go to stomach, spleen area. And two, relax, qi comes back to this point. One, two. One, two, inhale, elbows go back, exhale, elbow go forward, and try here not holding the hands, just lao gong over lao gong, no stopping. The movement can speak. We can speak from our mouth. We have verbal language. But this movement is like a body language. The Zhongwan point is a magical point. It harmonizes the spleen qi, moves the stomach qi. So if your digestion is not so good, You'd like to practice this movement longer with very joyful and relaxed manner. Smile from your heart. Feel qi from the palm, from Zhongwa, expand to stomach and spleen area. And then as elbows going forward, body relax, qi comes back to Zhongwan point. Zhongwan is here, right? Open. Hi. Relax, relax, relax. Last three times, zi hao san zi. Last time. Finish one, two, three, 
two. You can smaller the step. Bring your feet closer. Let's try one more time by sitting. Okay, everybody can practice. Even people lying down in bed still can practice. Maybe by by. Same thing. Right hand, the center of your palm. It's called the Lao Gong. The center of your palm has a lot of energy. Also, warmth. Touch Zhong Wan. Left hand over right. Make sure the feet sitting flat, uh, feet are flat on the floor, you can open slightly, feel very stable. Again, that's what the invention is. Very stable. Ready, smile, inhale, feel chi like a light from Zhongwan. Acupuncture point, expand. And relax, the chi like a light comes back to the ball, comes back to the point. One, chi expand to whole stomach and spleen area. Two, chi comes back to one point. One, body open, elbows going back. Two elbows going forward. Hold on. 停一下, 稍停. You can see, right? Elbows, they have movement. Huh? One, inhale, elbows going back. Two, exhale. One. To continue, whoever feels your body is getting warmer, wonderful, congratulations. That means this movement works on you. Your qi, especially your stomach and spleen qi, is getting stronger. Therefore, you feel warmer. I know we usually don't score ourselves, like, I don't know, I get 30 points or 60 or 80 or 100 points. I don't know. But now, if I let everybody realize we can use warmth, how warm are our hands, how warm is our body, use that as a parameter. Can you please figure out what is your score? What's your point? What do you see? What do you say? Just a little bit warmer. You get 60 points. Or even warmer, 80. But we don't compare to other people. We only compare to ourselves. Maybe today we get 60 but maybe tomorrow we get 68, and the day after we get 80, right? We compare to ourselves, compare with ourselves. The relaxer you are, the warmer you will get. The more relaxed we are, the stronger is our energy, our chi.
Exhale, feel letting go. We don't hold anything. Inhale, body feel fuller and fuller. Exhale, empty our body, letting go. Nothing stops in our stomach area. Nothing stops in our heart. Inhale. Exhale. Three more times. Simple sense. Okay, finish. Maman Jesu. Good. Could you please try? Give yourself a score. I will check the chat. See what's our average. Now we have a couple of hundred friends online. From zero to hundred, zero is super cold right freezing 100 is warm you even feel a little bit perspiring perspire a little bit what do you what do you say Fifty, seventy-five, sixty-five. Wow, a lot of reply. I would say so far, maybe our average is about seventy-five. If we have a lot of force timer, this is already good. The more we practice, the higher score we'll get. So you can feel your warm hands are warm. Body is warm. That's a good sign. And then let's see tomorrow or even today, because we are in different time zone. In China, this is Saturday evening. And in the USA, now it's in the morning. So let's see today or tomorrow. Is our digestion system getting better? And usually people, uh, they report if they have loose stomach, always feel cold, loose, the outcome is very soft, no, sh no shape. Usually there is a change. It's not so loose anymore. There is a shape already. Or if people, they, they have constipation, then they will feel everything gets easier, better. Now let's try the second movement, Da Zai Qi. This in the practice is number, is number six. We have a low battery. Okay, now let's stand up. It shows this computer has this computer need to recharge battery, low battery. I'll see if we get a re get a charger. Follow me to find the da Zhi. When you look down, there is a highest point. This is C7. Between C7 and your chest area, chest bone T1, between C7 and T1, press harder. There is da Zhi. Let's try this movement first. Ready? Shifting weight, 
to one side. Hold. You see, if you are shifting weight to your left, your right heel raise up. Can you see? Raise up your right heel. And then shift your weight to the left. Yeah, probably the computer went out. Okay, yeah. I I take over. Yeah, I, I take, take over into Jean comes yeah. back. So change to the other side. Come to the center, and then to the other side, and feel how now your weight is on your right side. I do mirror image, and your left. <sighs> And your left heel is up. And then bend both knees and come back to the center slowly. And then again to the left side, right heel comes up. And the whole body comes up a bit. Change again. Bend both, knee, both knees. Slowly go down. And up again. And stay there. Weight is on your right, right side. Left heel is up. And just feel this position for a moment. You can take one hand and gently tap on the side of your neck. Gently. And feel those muscles here are very gently stretched. No force. Remember, it's all about joy. So enjoy the gentle stretch in your neck area. And then back again to the center. Both knees bend, go down. Change to the left side. Come up a bit. And keep this position for a moment. So later on, we just keep on moving in a flow. But let's practice the position first. Gently tap. Feel the left side of your neck now, gently stretched. Mm, enjoy. Mm, let go. And again to the center. Bend both knees. Come to the right and go up a little bit. Hold the position again and now feel your waist and the muscles, the little muscles between your ribs, the right side of your rib cage and your waist are gently stretched too. Mm, enjoy that. Change to the center. Shift weight. Come up a bit. <sighs> Hold the position one more time. Enjoy the stretch of your waist the side of your chest and your neck. And now let's do a little test. When you turn your head a little bit, so you look upwards, feel how the gentle stretch changes its different muscles. And then come back to the front. And really remember this feeling when your nose faces forward, these muscles that are stretched now, you want to have those stretched. And then back to the center. And now let's keep moving to the right. Gently come up. Enjoy the stretch. Back to the center. And then up to the left. Back to the center. And you can even, if you like to, you can now already... Keep on moving and you can synchronize with your breathing. Breathing in, come up and then exhale. Inhale, enjoy. Exhale and again, no force. Inhale. Exhale. 
Okay, now keep on moving. And before I pass over to Patrice, let's do this a few more times. And bring your awareness to your Dai Dui now. Again, the point below C7. You can touch it if you've lost it. But maybe you can just bring your awareness there without even touching the point. And just keep your awareness there. Dajui Dai Chi means Dajui drives Chi. Imagine this point driving Chi, moving your body ever so gently. Enjoy. One more time to each side. Exhale. Inhale, last time, exhale, and then back to the center. Okay, so this was English, now we start with French, passing over to Patrice. Bonjour à tous. C'est un grand plaisir pour moi de vous présenter en français cette introduction à la pratique de Tai Chi Relaxation. Et nous sommes également très heureux de vous voir très nombreux aujourd'hui réunis pour cette formation en ligne. Donc cette pratique s'adresse vraiment à tout le monde. Donc si vous avez des douleurs, des gènes articulaires ou des tensions qui vous limitent dans vos mouvements, vous respectez vraiment votre corps. Vous pouvez à chaque fois ajuster, adapter les mouvements à vos capacités euh, dans la posture et également dans l'amplitude. Donc tous les mouvements, vous avez vu que tous les mouvements peuvent euh, s'appliquer, s'effectuer en position debout ou assise. Vous venez d'avoir un aperçu donc, du troisième et sixième mouvement de Tai Chi Relaxation avec Teacher Jing. Et nous allons reprendre ensemble ces mouvements. Et vous pouvez les faire donc soit assis, soit debout, à vous de choisir. Place à la pratique. Donc le troisième mouvement, Jongwan Roussi. Jongwan, le centre de l'estomac. Pour identifier ce point, vous allez trouver l'ombilique. Touchez votre ombilique et vous placez quatre travers de doigts au-dessus de l'ombilique. Et le point Jongwan se retrouve précisément à cet endroit, le centre de l'estomac. Donc vous pouvez masser un petit peu, légèrement, tourner, mais une légère pression un point qui peut être sensible. Détendez bien ce point. Fermez les yeux, essayez de sentir la détente dans ce point. Et relâchez la main, gardez l'attention sur le point John Wan. Ouvrez les yeux, les points là au Kong, le centre des paumes de main. Donc vous allez superposer les deux mains, point là au Kong, qui se superposent l'un sur l'autre. Donc pas les mains trop écartées. Vraiment les mains superposées au niveau des paumes de main. Sans serrer les mains, juste posées au niveau de John Wan. Donc je suis en image miroir, la main gauche pour vous, c'est celle-ci. Ça c'est ma main droite. Les pieds naturellement écartés. En pliant les genoux, les, pieds, les genoux sont légèrement fléchis. N'allez pas trop loin, juste pour être confortable. Fléchissez les genoux. 
quand vous fléchissez les genoux, le bassin naturellement tombe, comme si vous vouliez vous asseoir, très relâché, très détendu. Prêt. Ensemble. Un, les bras montent en diagonale. Ici, les poignets sont relâchés. Deux, la main gauche sur la main droite. Placez les mains sur le point John One. Appliquez une légère pression sur ce point. Doucement, vous allez sentir la chaleur des paumes de main qui diffusent dans le point John One. Jongwan, roussi, roussi, c'est la respiration. Donc ce mouvement s'applique vraiment à la respiration. Et ensemble, un, les bras, coude en arrière, ouvrez, inspirez. Deux, les coudes en avant, légère pression sur le point Jongwan, relâchez, relâchez l'abdomen. Inspirez et expirez. L'abdomen se détend, le dos se détend naturellement. Inspirez. Expirez. Inspirez, ouverture, kai. Kai qui veut dire ouverture. Expansion, creux, unir, détendre, inspirer, expirer. Détendez bien l'abdomen, détendez l'estomac. Continuez, kai, creux. Sentez l'expansion du chi, de l'énergie, euh, et l'énergie qui s'est réunie dans le point Jongwan. Inspirez, expansion dans tout le foyer médian. Jong Tiao, expirez. Le chi revient, se condense. Inspirez. Expirez. Voyez les coudes qui avancent, légère pression sur l'abdomen. Inspirez les coudes en arrière. Expirez. Continuez. Le chi se répand dans tout l'abdomen, l'estomac, la rate pour nourrir, réguler l'énergie digestive. Ce mouvement est excellent pour tous les problèmes digestifs, lourdeur, ballonnement. Inspirez, sentez l'expansion. Expirez et détendez, détendez. Plus vous détendez, plus le chi circule naturellement dans votre corps. Un, deux. La chaleur, la lumière se répand et se condense. Sans effort. Sentez comme le mouvement apporte de la paix, de la chaleur, de la joie. Le dos se relaxe également.
Encore trois fois ensemble. Inspirez. Expirez. Détendez plus, plus profondément. Inspirez. Expirez. Encore une fois, ensemble. Inspirez. Expirez. Inspirez. Et finissez. Les genoux se retendent. Ramenez les, genoux, les jambes un peu plus serrées. Fermez un instant les yeux juste pour sentir au niveau de l'estomac, la chaleur, la détente, le bien-être. Fermez les yeux. La respiration naturelle. Et ouvrez les yeux. À présent, nous faisons le sixième mouvement. Tachwe, Tsai Tachwe, c'est là le point sous la septième cervicale. Donc, pour trouver ce point, vous pouvez baisser un petit peu la nuque, la tête en avant. Vous allez sentir la grande bosse, la vertèbre la plus proéminente. Et sous cette vertèbre-là, sous la septième cervicale, se trouve Tachwe, la grande vertèbre. Un point que vous pouvez masser un peu plus fortement. Tachwe, Tsai Chi. Tsai, c'est diriger, conduire le Chi. Ce mouvement va permettre de conduire le Chi dans le corps, dans le Dumai, le méridien postérieur dans toute la région de la nuque, des épaules. Donc un mouvement qui est excellent pour tous les problèmes de nuque, d'épaule et de dos. Gardez bien votre attention sur ce point. Les pieds un tout petit peu plus serrés. Nous commençons à gauche. Déplacez le poids du corps sur votre jambe gauche. La tête s'incline à droite et vous levez le talon droit. Sentez l'étirement au niveau de la nuque. Le visage reste face pour bien étirer les muscles latéraux. Relâchez bien votre épaule droite, aucune tension. Un léger étirement qui amène de la circulation dans, le, dans tout le cou. Et ensemble, fléchissez les deux genoux. Ici, nous passons par la position droite. Quand on est au centre, le poids du corps équilibré sur les deux jambes. La tête est droite. Et ensuite, le poids se décale sur votre droite. La tête s'incline à gauche. Levez le talon gauche et étirez gentiment la nuque. Sentez le côté droit bien étiré. Vous pouvez sentir tout le côté droit jusqu'aux côtes, jusqu'au bassin. Sans forcer, soyez vraiment à l'écoute de votre corps. Épaule gauche bien relâchée. À nouveau, revenez au centre. Et continuez vers la gauche, synchronisez le mouvement avec la respiration. Ici, inspirez et expirez, descendez le corps au centre. Inspirez, expirez. Aucun effort, juste de la détente toujours plus profonde dans le corps. 
côté droit. Inspirez. Kyle. Et expirez. Re. Continuez à mon rythme. En détendant la nuque, les épaules, ce mouvement va aussi pouvoir aider les, aux problèmes d'insomnie, problèmes de ronflement, tous les problèmes de tête, de maux de tête. Le mouvement aura aussi une action sur le foyer supérieur. Chang, Tiao, le réchauffeur supérieur. Pensez à relâcher, descendez, détendez bien les épaules, la poitrine. Inspirez, étirez gentiment, doucement. Toujours rempli de joie dans ces mouvements. Encore deux fois de chaque côté. Expirez. Allons inspirer, détendez, relâchez, expirez, inspirez, revenez au centre et redressez-vous, tendez les jambes. Et maintenant, je vous laisse avec Katia. Merci Katia. Merci beaucoup. Okay, can you hear me? Very good. Tanya yeah. is doing is doing back. Yeah, she's back. She'll wait okay. for you. Finish. Okay. Okay. I just do a few minutes, so maybe we can. Okay. So, I think we should just do both movements sitting again. Um, and I'll lead in German. <laughs> okay. Also da das Schöne an Tai Relaxation ja auch ist, dass wir das alles wunderbar anpassen können, jede Bewegung ähm, unseren eigenen Bedürfnissen anpassen können. Es ist super, das auch mal im Sitzen zu üben. I'll drop in a few English words. <laughs> so, um, let's just put our focus to the point first, before we start moving. We do both movements sitting. Also, der Punkt, der zur dritten Bewegung gehört, Jung Wan, nochmal vom Bauchnabel aus, vier Finger breit oberhalb vom Bauchnabel, taste den, massiere ihn so ein bisschen und vielleicht spürst du da schon ein bisschen Spannung oder ein Gefühl von viel Qi oder wenig Qi. Nimm einfach ein bisschen Kontakt auf mit dem Punkt. Geh mit deinem inneren Blick dorthin, schau dir diesen Punkt an. Und zwar immer ganz liebevoll. Bring deine ganze liebevolle Aufmerksamkeit zu diesem Punkt. Dann taste noch mal kurz deine Laugungpunkte, die Mittelpunkte der Handflächen. Und dann leg, ich mache es wieder spiegelgleich, den rechten auf Jong Wan und den linken auf den rechten. Links über rechts. Und check wirklich, dass sie wirklich übereinander liegen. Oft rutschen sie so auseinander. Lass sie wirklich aufeinander liegen. Laugung auf Laugung. Und beide auch Jung Wan. Und dann schließ die Augen und spür nochmal einfach nur Jung Wan. Nimm liebevoll Kontakt auf mit diesem Punkt. 
und vertrau mal auf die Kraft deiner Wahrnehmung, deiner Aufmerksamkeit. Wie genial ist das, dass wir Akupunkturpunkte mit unserer Aufmerksamkeit stimulieren können, öffnen können. Entspanne den Punkt. Relax the acupuncture point. Just with your loving awareness there. Und fühl, ist er schon warm? Hat er sich schon ein bisschen verändert in der letzten halben Stunde? Fühlt er sich einfach lebendig an? And then let's do the movement just a few times. Wir beginnen mit der Einatmung. Ready? Begin. Hai, öffnen. H, vereinen. Kai. H. Einatmung. Ausatmung. Mach weiter in deinem eigenen Rhythmus. Just continue at your own favorite pace. Und genieße. Spür, wie der Punkt atmet. Und spür, wie Qi von Jungwan aus in die Umgebung strahlt. Magen und Milz optimal versorgt. Und noch einmal mach das mit deiner ganzen liebevollen Aufmerksamkeit im Dongwan. Genieße. Und dann ein letztes Mal. Last time. Finish. Leg die Hände mal kurz auf den Beinen ab und spüre. Just feel Dong Wan. Und wir können das trainieren, so wie wir Bewegungen lernen, können wir auch trainieren, den Verstand an einem Punkt zu halten. Und zwar ohne komplett eng zu werden, uns zusammenzuziehen. Wir können total offen, ausgedehnt und entspannt bleiben, verbunden mit der Erde, verbunden mit dem Himmel und gleichzeitig aus dieser offenen Ausgedehntheit heraus den Punkt wahrnehmen und wirklich fokussieren. Letzten zehn Sekunden, last ten seconds, und dong one. Und dann einen langen Atemzug kommen und gehen lassen. Langsam die Augen öffnen. Die Arme hängen lassen. Sechste Bewegung. Wir beginnen zur linken Seite. Ich mache es spiegelgleich. Beginnen. Linke Seite öffnen. Wieder zurück zur Mitte. Spür, wie dein Becken sich so ein bisschen bewegt. Rechte Seite öffnen. Zurück zur Mitte. Wenn du die linke Seite öffnest, kommt der rechte Sitzhocker ein bisschen hoch, löst sich vom Hocker und dann kommt er wieder runter. Spür, wie beide Sitzhocker Kontakt haben, bevor du die andere Seite öffnest. Und so weiter. Continue at your own pace again. Lass deinen eigenen Lieblingsrhythmus entstehen. Ausatmung. Einatmung. Und jetzt beweg dich einfach weiter und geh mit dem Fokus zum Dajui. Du kannst noch mal einen Finger hinlegen, das ist der Punkt unter dem siebten Halswirbel, der so ein bisschen prominent nach hinten rausguckt. Du kannst auch während du dich bewegst, den Finger da mal ein bisschen lassen, um den Punkt besser zu lokalisieren. Und wenn du ihn gut hast, dann lass den Arm einfach runter und beweg dich weiter. Letzte Minute, last minute. Fühl, 
Dad so ich. Und wieder stell dir vor, wie Chi von Dajui aus in die Umgebung strahlt. Imagine Chi going from Dajui into the surrounding area, nourishing your neck, shoulder, throat area perfectly well. Und mach das wieder mit Genuss. Sonst ist es einfach nur eine Übung. Mach es liebevoll und genussvoll. Das ist Tai Chi Relaxation. Letztes Mal zu jeder Seite. Last time. Finish. Einen Moment sitzen, viel Dadui. Nimm nochmal diesen Punkt wahr. Ist er ein bisschen warm geworden? Fühlt er sich lebendig an? Wie fühlt sich der ganze Nacken an? Und dann nochmal einen langen, genussvollen Atemzug kommen und gehen lassen. Und langsam die Augen öffnen. Thank you so much. I'll pass over to Jing again. Hi, everybody. We are back. Now let's prepare the standing form. Follow me. To your left. Feel a gentle stretch. Feel your neck, shoulder. Feel the ribs. Gentle stretch. Follow me. Descend. Shift away to the right. Hold. Feel the stretch again, your neck, your shoulder, and the ribs. Open, open the meridians. Your body is getting softer. Continuous. One, two. One, two, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, exhale, one. To feel your da jui is like the center of the steering wheel, right? The center of steering wheel. Turn, turning the car. Change, curve. Steering, steering, steering. Back. Turn the car. Back. Relax the entire body. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Once when you really learn the movement, pay attention to your da jui. Da Jie has the function to strengthen the Yang Qi, opening the meridians. Therefore, this movement is not only good for relaxing the neck, the shoulder, like self-healing, soothing the neck pain, shoulder pain, Prevent 
joint pain make our body softer, not only this, but also emotionally letting go more and more young and relax more and more in young in between yin and yang there is no stopping this is tai chi this is also the secret of Tao. What is Tao? Tao is keep changing. Day and night. From spring to summer to autumn to winter. Spring comes back. Summer, autumn, winter. Everything keeps changing. Tao is the principle. In the change, how to find balance, how to survive, how to go with universal energy. In the change, to feel the balance, to understand the strength of balance. Are we beautiful? Is your body getting softer? Beauty is a power. From this year, 2024, we entered 九子离火运. What is that? It's the ninth fortune. The fire fortune. Fire has the character, purifies everything. So many bad things happen for the good. We go with the change. We follow the principle of Tao. We enjoy the yin part. As well as we enjoy the yang part, we enjoy every moment. Relax. Relaxation is the key bring us to oneness, emptiness, unite all of our hearts. No difference between skin colors, no difference between nations, no difference, no conflicts between country and country. In the practice, we feel peace as well as feel the warmth. When our chi is getting stronger, our body feel warmer and your body is getting softer more relaxed. I think Patrice and Katya already introduced Da Jui is at the Dumai. Dumai is the ocean of Qi. So when Da Jui is refined, when you feel Da Jui is driving the movement, meanwhile, Daji has the magical function to open the channels, open the meridians. Let the chi go through our body. Let the chi heal our body. The chi opens the heart. You like it? Last three times. So Tai Chi relaxation has three semesters. This is movement number six, Da Zai Qi. 
in the first semester. Eventually, when we go up to the third semester, we will have the larger movement, 大动作 Let us demonstrate for you. 我们先往左，预备，走。In the third semester, the movement change changes like this, but the principle doesn't change. Still inhale, exhale. Nice. Inhale, exhale. The movement is getting more difficult. The meaning is getting profounder, deeper. Last time. Smaller, smaller, King. Vene, Bingu, Bao Chen Li. This is the greeting movement in Chinese Wushu. Thanks, my students. Thanks, our Chinese team. So go back. Okay. Now let's sit down and we can chat with each other. Okay. So for the chat, since we are so many, could you please、um, click on reactions and raise your hand if you want to say something, and then we can open your mic, or you can open your mic. We can call you, or you can write in the chat. And since there's not so much time left, and if you have to leave, you can also. Write your questions to one of us. So, dear Jill, is putting now some emails in the chat. So you can either write in German to me, or in French to Patrice, or in English to, I think it's Ding Tai Chi email. But if you have some more time, we are happy to. Have your questions here, maybe even speaking. Okay, so I see the first hands here. Oops.、Uh, okay, I can see your name now. But hello. Hello. Yeah.、Uh, hi, Jane. Ni hao. How how do you do? Um, the point in the back of the、I、neck. I was.、Know. I wasn't clear exactly. Is it at in the middle of the neck, or where the where the neck meets the body, or where the neck meets meets the brain meet, meets the skull?、Um, the second one you said when the neck meets the body, right? Last where the, one where the neck meets the body. Okay. Yes. 谢谢。不客气。It's so good to see everybody. I like this way of connecting. Lisa,、okay. good morning, Teacher Jing. When we turn our neck like this, is the neck just to the side, or do we lift our head up a little bit? Lisa, the first one. We don't lift up our head, or we don't turn the nose facing forward. Everybody can try. Try with me and visit you. Said, right? We look at each other, and you feel the stretch. But if we turn our head a little bit, or other side, right away, this stretch is gone. So in Tai Chi relaxation, first semester, no turning. We go down to earth, connecting with real life. So many people every day, every day, so busy with the phone. Too much phone, too much time with the computer. The neck is stiff. So first, let's go to our physical body. Do some gentle stretch. This side, change the other side. 
do this one first. Second semester, we have the smaller movement. Third semester, we turn our head. So each semester, we add difficulty. I don't know, did I explain that? Okay. <laughs> and I have one more question. When, when we have, when we find the point, here, the drum mark, yes. Um, mm -hmm. And when we breathe in, I feel like that point is a center of a sphere and not a circle. And so if I leave that sphere, the center of the sphere on the skin, the chi radiates out and in at the same time. But if I move the center point into the body, then the chi radiates only in the body. Which is the, yeah. does it matter? It doesn't matter. Yes. Both are okay. Actually, the first one is more proper. It's just not, you are not yet used to this practice. Actually, Jung Wan is behind the skin, not so deep. It's not in Jung Mai. It's the front meridian, the Mai. Right? Mm. So when it expands, it's not from the side to see. It's not only expand this way, the front, the back, but it exp expand also this way, right? Contract or return everywhere, return, refining the chi. So it does go outside the body and then return to the body. Actually, no need because this practice is so down to earth. Fixing our physical body first. When she go out, fix boom. We don't have a big stomach. We are not pregnant women yet. So the chi doesn't go much, doesn't go out of body. Everything is inside the body. We heal our body first. This is the principle in first semester. Use one point to open the entire area. Use Bai Hui point to nourish the entire head. Use Zhong Wan point to nourish the entire uh, stomach, spleen area. Not yet going down because we have number four for the next area. It goes from the point to the area. Another point to the area. Okay, before we go on with some questions, I hope you have a little more time. Maybe let's do five more minutes for questions and then you can also write your questions if there are still some. I would like to inform you or remind you that there will be ongoing classes for Tai Chi relaxation on the first level. Um, one will be, of course, with Teacher Jing starting in April. It's written in the chat. You can go there and um, go on the link and register for that. That's a 10-week class with um, Teacher Jing. And then there will be one with Patrice en français and one with me of Deutsch, um, both starting um, in April as well. So if you're interested in that, just write us an email. Okay, so more questions. There is a question from Elena Leg In movement three... So the position when we are standing, uh, Teacher Jing, you said to get the tailbone down. Is there a, is there a change when we are inhaling and exhaling? Or kai he? Is there a change in the tailbone position? If that comes naturally, you feel your tailbone, the tip of your tailbone also follows that's fine. But a lot of beginners, once when they feel the abdomen, third movement, the abdomen, you see, there is a kai to opening, relaxing. We call it relaxing, not the contracting. You see, there's a use force to contract. That's not the practice. Open and relax. Whatever comes to help you to open better, to relax better, you do it. No need to pay attention to your hair or to your tailbone. No need. Whatever comes naturally, let it be. Thank you. 
Hmm. Anybody else has a question? That will be a replay, and we have a second um, introduction. When is our second introduction? Yes, there will be a second oh, class yeah. like this, um, and we will go through other movements then from Tai Chi relaxation. That will be on 19, March 19, mm -hmm. same time of the day. Okay, that's a Tuesday, I believe. And we're looking very much forward to seeing you again. And you can tell anybody, advanced practitioners, new people, anybody, it's good for anybody, and invite them. It's a free class, again, one more free class like this. And you can find in the chat now our contacts and the times of the eight weeks or 10 weeks classes that we'll be offering. Okay. So maybe you could also share with us about your scores. How do you feel? What did it do to, do to you? Maybe the ones that have been doing, practicing this for a while, sharing, you're very welcome. One more important question, maybe. It's based on, based on Ren Mai and Du Mai. We find nine acupuncture points and connecting to our often happen the problems. For example, migraine, low energy. Then that's the first moment, Bai Hui, Na Qi, open the Bai Hui point. The top chakra, when universal chi enter dantian, like recharging your phone. And meanwhile, it is good for Alzheimer, Parkinson, nerve system, memory thing, memory problem that all belong to the head part or the brain, the part of the head. Then you need to practice movement number one longer. And if you have aspiration problem, like um, the lungs or with your um, heart, everything in the chest area, upper, the chest area, you practice second moment longer. Or like in Corona time, COVID, we try to prevent that. Practice second moment longer. But if you have digestive difficulty, then practice number three longer. That's the middle part and lower part is uterus or prostate or kidney or intestine problem. Practice number four longer. We will introduce that next time. This time, hopefully you enjoy our number six, feel the body getting relaxer, softer, more relaxed. And hopefully number three, this Zhongwan Hu Ti. After this, your digestive system is enhanced and maybe you can sleep better. Any questions? There was one more question about the chin. If when we are going down, is it going down with us or not? For Chun Wan, Chun Wan breathing, is the chin looking up or uh, the head? chin? Yes, the chin. Uh, the head, do not drop down our head. Yes, when you open, the head follows. But also, but also not tilted the head, no. You see, not like this. Just open the body and then relax, also relax the neck. I still look forward. That's the moment. From the side to see, one, two. Okay, so I would say, we finish the session for today. Register for the next. Um, don't hesitate also for the classes. And maybe Batya, would you like to close this meeting?
Or Jill? <laughs> Maybe Jill too. is there, then that Jill closing. I'm happy to. Thank you, everyone around the world for being here. It's such a pleasure. Teacher Jing, bringing your class from China has been wonderful. And to the whole team and Kati and Patrice, Bachi and Tanya, thank you. To everybody here, um, we really encourage you to reach out to us. Our contact information is in the chat, the information for the next free class and the 10 week series with Teacher Jing is in the chat too. If you have any questions, reach out. We're here to help in any way we can to support this beautiful practice. I have students who last week told me that I had just taught them this, and they described it this way. They said, the practice transformed harshness into softness, confusion into clarity, and separateness into connection. And that's what they felt just by after their first session. So I just welcome everyone to this beautiful practice and such deep gratitude to, to Teacher Jing. Thank you. So love to all everywhere around the world. Mwah. Goodbye. Merci à tous. Thank you so much. Thank you. See you next time. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, our team. Thanks, our yeah, thank you very much, team. everyone. <laughs> A replay will be sent to you via email. So look out for it via your email. <laughs> bye bye. 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 Bye.